Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my new video. Now, so I haven't made a video in quite a few weeks. I got a new computer and it took a while for me to get all my programs and plugins running again and I've been really busy at work and stuff, but I've got a few videos planned now so they should be up in the next week or so. Okay, and in this video it's just going to be a really quick basic tip and a lot of you probably already know it and some of you might not so I thought I'd make it anyway. Now this is a video I'm working on, it's just some clips of when I went on a holiday to Brisbane in Australia and I went to like a theme park with some friends and you know, it was a pretty good time. So if we go to render this out, what I've done here is just pretty much 1080p footage um, scaled down to 720p and um, you know, it's all color graded slightly. So if we go make movie, composition make movie and we want to make sure it's on best settings, so best in full if we click that and then down here we're going to render it as an AVI file and we're going to enable audio outputting and then let's just click render now if we look at this it's going fast at the moment, that's because it's just blackness but now that the clips are starting you can see the rendering is pretty slow and uh, if we look down on the bottom here, it says RAM, and it's only using 20% of 16 gigabytes, which is my total amount of RAM. Now, if we leave this running like this, the estimated time remains will probably go up to around 6 minutes, or something like that, for the render. So, if we just stop that, there's a way we can improve that speed quite dramatically. So, if we go back to our composition, and we go to Edit, Preferences, and go down to Memory and Multiprocessing, we can enable render multiple frames simultaneously, which is multiprocessing. Now, as you can see, I've got six cores on my computer. Now, what you can do is you can allocate total number of gigabytes per core. So right now, it was only using one core. I can enable it to use two gigabytes per core, so it will effectively use six times two gigabytes, which is 12. So if we do that and click OK, we can go Composition, Make Movie again, make sure we use the exact same settings click OK and now we click render again you'll see that the render speed will improve quite a bit now of course it's going to be a bit slower than it usually is because I'm running a screen recorder but there we go already you can see it's rendering at almost 100% speed at some points and you know it's still a bit laggy but it's definitely an improvement on what it was before and if you look at the estimated time remaining it's only going to take about two to three minutes to render this time. So, you know, if you knew that, sorry I didn't learn it, but I'm pretty sure a few people wouldn't know that, and hopefully it will help you out. So thanks for watching everyone. Um, you know, sorry about no videos again, and look forward to new ones. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.